Hello again, everyone. Kevin Lozier, Fedway's Master of Whiskey. Again, coming to you today from the Mixology Lab, the laboratory, here on the corporate campus of Fedway Associates in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Today, we're going to talk bourbon. Specifically, we're going to talk about Maker's Mark. Now, what separates Maker's Mark beyond the beautiful red wax seal that kind of sets it apart from all the other bottles on the market is the mash bill. Your average bourbon uses corn as the base. By government law, you have to. And then they use rye as what's considered the flavoring grain. For makers, they're a little bit different. They use wheat, red winter wheat, which is very light, very soft. Now, when you age this in new American oak barrels, you pick up on the nose a very soft aroma, a little bit of cream soda, a little bit of kind of a vanilla note in there as well. Now, on the palate, it's very, very soft, very easy to drink. A lot of that soft kind of sweet caramel note on the front of the tongue. But as this goes further back into your palate, it kind of fades away. It's gone. That's exactly what Maker's Mark wants to make. The flavor that they give you is kind of all up front on the palate. Now, the other bourbon that Maker's Mark produces is Maker's 46. Now, it separates 46 from the original. When the original is ready to be bottled, certain barrels are pulled off the line they take French oak staves, they sear these pieces of wood, drop them into the barrels that are still holding fully mature makers, let it sit in the barrel again for an unspecified amount of time before bottling. This double maturing or, or double aging, the nose is much bigger. It's got kind of a, a cola sweetness to it. On the palate, it's much bigger, it's much richer, a little bit more spice. Again, it's got that soft maker sweetness to it as the mash bills are the same. It's just that double aging offers a bigger, bolder style to me with a little bit more spice. So two beautiful whiskeys, two, to me, vastly different styles, Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. 